All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Uh, it's exciting to be here today because we've got a couple of actually very special guests with us today. Uh, one who you guys have had on here a number of times that you probably know pretty well, which is uh, our good buddy Tony Hayes. But he, uh, he actually has brought along with him somebody very special that uh, I actually didn't even, I didn't know this person until recently, but uh, Tony said you've got to have a webinar with uh, Holly Starks Cooper because she is the genius behind uh, Google Hangouts and uh, she has a new product called Easy Hangout Niche Dominator. And uh, Holly, how are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. I'm over my cold, so... Yay! I couldn't talk for about two weeks. <laughs> I I know how you feel. The the poor people that are that are on this call right now have listened to me have a uh, a, a recurring cold allergy type thing for about six months, and uh, finally I'm I'm actually clear of that, and uh, I actually sound like a normal human again, at least to an extent. So that's, yeah, that's I I couldn't like I had to stop totally talking for two days because I. Oh, it was wow. bad. My whole throat was like, it was just wretched. Yeah, it's oh, better now, good. so we're good. <laughs> well, that's good. That's exciting. I'm glad to hear that because I know, I know how miserable that can be and I know how good it is to, uh, to get over it because I'm quite excited with my, my new life free of uh, death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Well, everybody, I, I just want to again thank you guys for coming in today. And uh, if you guys can hear us, I want you to just give us a good uh, Monday morning yes to let to let us know that you can hear us. Now I can't actually see those for for uh, whatever reason. Uh, so if everybody, you know, either Holly or Tony, if you can see the uh, the yeses, let us know. Make sure everybody can hear us this morning. I can't actually, so I'm guessing Tony will. Have yeah, there, there's right, many Tony, many many yeses and a couple of smiles. Somebody was asking his way. Beautiful. Here. All right, that's awesome. Uh huh. Excellent. And so, Tony, since you've got that, feel free to chime in with, with any questions at, at, at any point during this. Uh, so, Holly, let me ask you this. I, I have been using Hangouts for a little while now. Uh, mostly it's been to, to kind of do interviews with uh, other people. And uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing with webinars, or excuse me, with Hangouts, because uh, I know it's a little bit different, and uh, we'd love to hear exactly what you're doing and how you're seeing success with that. So I use uh, Hangouts in several different ways. Um, originally, I first did the Hangouts because I did not believe that uh, videos would convert for even like CPA or uh, locals, which, you know, I use it for locals highly. But, you know, it, I just didn't think that it was going to convert versus a website, and websites were harder to rank. So when... Um, someone brought Hangouts to my attention, I was like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll give it a try. And, <laughs> and it works. It's, it, it's, it's, it's the most powerful ranking system right now that I've ever come across. And, and let me say I've been doing SEO for eight years. And I have gone through every Google Hangout, or I'm sorry, every Google Penguin that you could go through. I've gone through all the Google penalties that you can go through. I had a thousand PBN domains de-indexed three, it's been about three years ago. So I don't put all my eggs in one basket anymore. And I totally went against what every guru tells you to do. And I went off on my own. I did all my own testing and basically found out if they tell you not to do something, then it's, you should probably do it because it actually works. You know, like they're they're playing that game. Like Cut says, don't use PBNs because they're going to give you a penalty. Well, if you use PBNs, they actually rank your site, and if you use them right, you're not going to get a penalty on them. Nice. So, yeah. So I I kind of um, and that's that's kind of got how I got started in the videos. That I believe that Google gives a lot more. Um, ranking power to videos, obviously, and because it's on Google Hangouts and Google Plus, it's going to give you more power than a regular YouTube video versus even like a website and like uh, press releases and stuff like that. I mean, they all work, don't get me wrong, they work, but if you want instant ranking of 500 keywords for one video in three weeks, the Hangout system is what you want to do, and it it's, sure. has never failed me yet. And, and of course, even even the uh, press releases, there was a 
an article that just came out about how they're starting to uh, crack down on press releases as well. So that even that's uh, going to run through its troubles now, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I have never been a person to use press releases. I know there's a lot of people that like them. The only reason why I have not is because I'm not a very good writer, and I'm, I'm, I'm considered myself as a lazy SEO. And so for me to go and write an article or even find someone to write a good article and then I have to do, like, editing of it, it's just it's so much work for me. Like, my Hangout system, it takes me eight minutes to do it, and, I, and it's, it's just one video. <clears throat> that I do for each location and then you know I put them in my backlink system and it takes me eight minutes so it's not like I'm not doing a lot of editing and trying to use my brain and all this kind of stuff it, it's it's a lazy man to do it I completely agree <laughs> <clears throat> yeah it's it's you know and, and newbies can do it and advanced people to do it. I mean anyone can really do it it's not, not it's not a hard system if you can get your head around it and not not believe what the gurus tell you. <clears throat> so um, can I show you some examples? Absolutely. Would love to see that. All right. If I mute myself for like five seconds and you don't hear me, it's because I'm coughing. So just want to let you know. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying to cover that up. <laughs> okay. So um, the... The public case study that I did in a Facebook group is what I did was I went into a Facebook group and I said, um, you know, I basically came out of nowhere. No one knew who I was. But um, I, I came in and I said, I'm going after AC Repair, Miami, Florida. There's 500 keywords. Here's the keywords I'm actually doing. Here's the video that I'm doing. And when I see, like, um, updates in, you, in Google um, then I'll post the Excel file. And I said, if you're in AC repair in Miami or in the whole state of Florida, I would pick a different niche because I'm going to take over the whole state, which is what I've actually done. So nice. I, I posted this, and everyone was like, oh, you know, you're not going to be able to do it because it's a super competitive area, and then you're not going to do it in under a month. Well, I didn't do it in under a month. I, in fact, I did it in three weeks. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, this is the actual video. If you Google AC Repair Miami, Florida, um, you can see actually it was uh, made December 2nd and in Levi Matheson. And that is actually just a um, public case study account. So if anyone wants to see my rankings, that's that's a, a account to go to. And then um, the phone number is just a rented phone number from Twilo. So <clears throat> I just made a 30-second um video in PowerPoint basically and just posted it on Hangouts and I put um, <clears throat> the keywords that I wanted to rank for into the backlink program which is GSA and I let it rip and by let it rip I, I, I put um, well there was like several different projects but I did 500,000 um, links, which would be like blog comments, articles, trackbacks, um, social networks, wikis, stuff like that. In each project, I had 500,000 drop overnight, <clears throat> overnight over um, about a week. And then I have a system of how many days I run it and how many days I, t I turn it off. And it, it, it comes down to a science of you'll get a feel of when to turn it on and off. So when it starts to dance, you turn it off. When it starts to level it out, then I turn it back on, basically. Nice. Um, and, and and for those for those wondering, it be, and and actually on Friday GSA was brought up quite a bit, so people uh, have probably heard of that. But could you explain GSA a little bit, just so everybody understands that? Yeah. Um, GSA. It's okay. So everyone has heard of like SE Nuke and X Runner. So SE Nuke would be like a little girl's tool compared to GSA. <laughs> okay. Because you, it's so powerful, but it's not as powerful as X Runner. X Runner is like the website killer, so it's not as powerful as that. So yeah. GSA will automatically make your links for you. You have to tell it what URL you want, what keywords you want, what anchor links you want. Um, and you can import your own site list. So my site list won't be the same as yours, Ray, because you would have to have my site list or you would have to scrape for my, my, um, my platforms that I post on. So everyone can make their own targeted GSA list, basically. Where I think in SE Nuke, you kind of have to go with what they have. Right. 
And I, that's why SENUC is like a little girl's tool, because you don't have a lot of options there. So GSA um, will make all of them for you. And, and for, those, for those listening to that, it's also a lot easier than using something like Magic Submitter. So it's kind of a, a balance between fairly easy to use and extremely powerful. So it's a, <laughs> yeah. it fits right in between that niche, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And I've never used um, Magic Submitter. So I don't know how hard of a learning curve it is. And I, and I swear, SE Nuke was so hard for me to learn, I just had to put it away. And GSA was easy for me. Yeah. Beautiful. So, you know, and there's so many different, you know, forums out there that will help you with GSA. And, and that, you know, I go over step by step in my um, training. You, you watch me do a whole project. It's a three and a half hour webinar that you watch me do it. Wow. And so, I mean, you really shouldn't have like basic questions questions. You, you know, you're probably going to have advanced ones, but not the basic ones of how to get it started and to let it rip. So that's what I did, is that I, I made this AC repair one, and in under three weeks, it actually ranks, it ranks for, um, there's 500 terms that it ranks for number one, and if you guys look at my screen, you can see um, that there's been movement, which is, you know, I'm actually trying to tank it because people said, well, you can't really, well, that's the Charlotte one. People said, well, you can't let it run for that many days every single day running links and I'm like no you can that's the that's the beauty of the system is I never turn off my links they, they continually run because you have to have the link velocity you can't run it 500,000 links for <laughs> three weeks and then shut it off you can't do that and in GSA you can schedule it to throttle it down so you're always having links coming in you are always having links going out but you're still having them come in so it's not dropping um, so as you can see, you can, I mean, it's, it's, there are been some drops, which is fine because I'm trying to tank it and I haven't been, like I'm doing negative SEO on it right now and it's not dropping it. And, and YouTube, it's basically number one in all of them. So, nice. um, and that's for local terms. And also I'm going after national terms on, and I didn't mean to do this, which is even, even better. If you look up our emergency AC repair, it's an it's a um, general term, you know, for anybody. It's number right. two. Wow. For AC nice. repair. And, I mean, and for the only the only person repair. beating you is somebody who spends a whole lot of money because the the guys above you are a national franchiser. So that's interesting to see. Um. Yeah, and these guys actually contacted uh, my sales team on Friday and said we want to buy the leads. And I'm like, well, this guy, we already rented out the leads. So he won't be able to, but we'll make another video, you know, and we can compete against myself because I know how many links it needs to, t to be to rank. Right. <clears throat> so, um, so that's one example. And then this is another one which I um, am doing with a partner of mine, and it's AC Repair Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, <clears throat> I think this is actually the website, too. So I brought in the video and it brought in the website and um, there's another one for the term so it's about number eight and if you look up YouTube I'm doing a public case study it's DUI attorney Phoenix Arizona <clears throat> and it's number two and that was made three weeks ago up until yesterday it actually was number one it took three days to have the DUI attorney Phoenix, Arizona come in. And actually, once it starts to rank for in Google, um, it's like uh, the AdWords on that term, and I think it's like 400 and some, or there's a term that's related to that. It might be Phoenix, Arizona, I don't know. But it's supposed to be like a $430 term for per click. And I haven't put it in my GSA system. Some people are like, well, it's not ranking in Google yet. Well, it's not supposed to because I'm doing a different type of um, case study. I'm trying to do social bookmarks because in the training, I actually have a guest speaker in the second training, and he does social bookmarks. And so I'm like, well, I'm going to try the social bookmarks. It, it brought it in in Google in three days, the social bookmarks. And um, I used RankWiz. <clears throat> you can use, like, FCS or... Uh, or GSA because GSA does social bookmarks, but I used RankWiz. It pulled in into you into YouTube in three days. It has not pulled it into Google, so 
I'm planning on turning GSA on the video, but I just I really haven't yet. And then um, I just track I, I track everything with this Pro Rank Tracker. That way I can see. You know, we actually did a uh, a big case study with uh, using um, uh, social bookmarks as well, and what we saw was we actually in seven minutes took a video that was not on Google at all, could not find it anywhere, and seven minutes later it was number one on page one just by running it through OnlyWire. So social bookmarks are a yeah. huge part of that. Very weak keyword, yeah, I, but it was I a weak actually, keyword on purpose. Yeah, I actually have a, um, a student who used um, OnlyWire, and he had a term that was 600,000 monthly searches a month. It's a CPA product. It's not like um, credit repair or anything like that. It, I can't say what it is because I, he had it taken down from the company and he has to put it back up and I don't want anyone to compete with him. But it had 600 um, keyword term or keyword searches, thus just this two term. And in 14 hours he was number three I, on Google itself. That's like crazy. And then there's a, and then he also did another term. It's um, let me find it in Facebook. Um, let's take over. You see, okay, so this one, it's American Home Shield, which is a ninety thousand a month mm -hmm. search volume, and if you actually um type it into Google, his YouTube video should be number three, or it was on May 8th. And <clears throat> he basically complained about uh, air conditioning um, that they wouldn't reimburse him $4,000. So he made the video complaining about the company. The company contacted him and said, we'll pay the $4,000 if you take your video down or put a good video up. <laughs> so, I mean, you can use it for that. That's nice. awesome. And, it I, and I've, I've actually days. done that as well. <laughs> yeah, and it ranked in four days. And I know he used OnlyWire, he used RankWiz, and he used GSA. He said he dropped like um, 60,000 links or something. Yeah, yeah. and in fact, a, a running joke with, with us is if you, if you actually search for Toro Lawnmowers, you'll see I've got a video on there, you know, a music video I made singing about how terrible they are. And uh, how they wouldn't take care of my broken lawnmower, and it's still there to this day because they never actually did take care of the problem. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's awesome that 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 they do that stuff. Well, Tola, not Lola. Tola. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. I can give you another example. It's it, it'll blow your guys' mind. Um, so at the same time that I did the the AC Repair Miami one, I did. Um, I'm like, okay, it works on locals. You know, locals aren't that bad for ranking. They're pretty easy to rank, right. in my opinion. So I'm like, all right. Well, I'm going to pick something like a CPA product. So I picked a product of a guy who I knew, and his. Um, the keyword search volume on 165 keywords were about, I think it was like 80,000 a month or something like that. And I've done PPC for him, and I know he does really good sales every day. So he was in Mexico, so I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can take over. And I made um, 165 Hangouts. They were about seven different videos, but if you stream them through Hangouts, see, they don't get a duplicate content because they, you can't ever get the same amount of times, the seconds right. of the video, so you don't get the duplicate. So I put 165 videos up. Each video had three keywords. And within, um, well, within just making them, they basically took over YouTube itself. But then after two to three weeks, it was ranked um, the first, I don't know, like, it was like 15, 20 pages of YouTube and Google itself, <laughs> right? So after a week of making them, and, you know, they started to come up, and he was in Mexico, and I called him, and I was like, hey, you know, what's going on? Um, I'm getting some affiliate sales. And he's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I haven't checked my rankings. Um, I was like, yeah, maybe you should check your rankings, right? So he checked him. He's like, 
holy shit, who is doing this? <laughs> He's like, my websites, because I did SEO for him two years ago, so his sites were still ranking, right? Well, I mean, at the time they were still ranking, but now they aren't. And I was like, yeah, that was me. I just wanted to do this as a test. And he's like, that's some bullshit, you know. And I was like, well, you know, I'm your affiliate. You can pay me to be an affiliate. Or, you know, do you want the YouTube channel? He's like, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I'll give you a few thousand. I was like, no, I'm thinking 15,000 for the YouTube channel because I know how much it makes in PPC. I own the 20 to 30 pages in Google and in YouTube. So you will never get a website on there. And it's your product, and I know it's your only product. So I cornered him that he didn't really have much of a choice except to pay me. So you're either going to pay me as your affiliate, you can buy it for 15000 or I'm going to have to redirect it if you're going to, you know, now, if you don't want to pay me, it's your product, so it's not my problem, you can't rank it. So after a few choice words that he had, the phone call ended, and and he wouldn't do it. So I was like, all right, well, so then I redirected the traffic for about 48 hours, and he called me back, and he's like, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to buy it for 15000 And I was like, well, see, here's the thing. that I give you one chance to work for me. Across the board, anyone, a local, doesn't matter. One chance to work for me, and you screw it up, so now it's 30000 don't don't swear at me or it's going to go up another 15, dude. Don't do it. This is, you know, <laughs> don't do it, dude. So, yeah, he ended up buying it for $30,000. Um, wow. He wire transferred it to my account, and I wouldn't pay the $42 for the wire transfer because I'm not doing that. It's, I'm, I'm 30000 30000 to 30000 not like 29000 and change. It's 30000 <laughs> And, um, yeah, he's happy. He owns the first 10 pages of Google and of um, – Yahoo, he doesn't have to pay his affiliates anymore. And the killer thing is, he never made me sign a statement saying I would not come back up under my own videos that I did. He has three other products that I am really wanting to go after. Um, you know, once things settle down, I want to go after the other three products and do the same thing for him. Um, his other three products aren't ranking, so it's not like he would have to you know, it wouldn't be under the certain circumstances of like a 30000 but I'm sure it would be like at least a 15000 for each one of them. And, you know, he couldn't be happier. So he, he you know, he owns everything now. <laughs> but he wouldn't be if it wasn't for me, you know. And, and it's because of Hangouts. I couldn't have done it without, like, Hangouts. You know? Well, Holly, guess what I'm going to be doing this afternoon? Are you going to make Hangouts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find a niche product and do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done it. You know, I've tried to do a, a few launch jacks, but I have entered them too um, late. And you know, it works for launch jacks. You can, oh, it you can absolutely do it really does. Good. In fact, my my first ever, the first time I ever did a big affiliate uh, promotion, that's exactly what we did. Was um, uh, myself and, and a friend of mine who who's the one who got me to do it. We actually did a launch jack, and we had this video on number one on page one and all these other guys who are these well-known marketers have their bonus sites below us and they have no idea who we are and and we took quite a few sales I mean I don't think I've ever made that much money in a single week in my life uh, and that was yeah. the very first time I'd ever tried it I'd never done anything like that before so that's a yeah. very very effective way to, to do things yeah if you're liking if you're into launch jacking this will work like a big time for you yeah and for those wondering what launch jacking is, essentially that's, you know, let's say uh, the latest traffic geyser is going to come out. You make sure that you've got a video to steal all that traffic and, and you know, uh, uh, make all those affiliate sales by, by jumping right up to the top there very quickly. And uh, yeah. that's essentially what that is. I think if you launch check that video FX product or like Tony's <laughs> Hangout product, man, you could do Tony's yeah, well, Hangout you know, product. It, I still probably wouldn't have made it to number one because, uh, you know, Todd sold a thousand copies in like the first hour. I know, so. that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So that, yeah, so that's basically, you know, I mean, it ranks, I, I've never seen something as powerful as this. And, you know, I I have PBNs. I have a network of 100,000 Web 2.0 sites. And you use them in, con in conjunction with your Hangouts, you know, your embeds. It's it's so powerful. I just don't see it ever not. You know, people are like, well, 
what happens when the update, you know, or Google update? It's, this video has gone through a couple updates and it has not moved at all. And I'm running negative SEO. I'm running bad links at it right now and it's not moving. So, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it's, yeah. I don't, so, I don't know if there's anything that is as powerful. So let me, let me ask you this, Holly. When it comes to, to doing this, uh, you're talking about how you're doing the Hangouts and everything. Could you could you tell us a little bit about like what types of videos you're doing with these Hangouts? Are you already working with a company or you're just selling leads, correct? Yeah. Um, I, right now I'm just doing lead generation because it's the easiest way that you can really make an income. Um, all you have to do is just pick out your niche. And in the training course I have, a, um, in the advanced training course I have a niche list of like 260 niches so that you can actually get started and not have to think of the seed niche. And, nice. and you know, you rent your, um, your phone number and you just redirect it to your client. And, you know, it's the sky is the limit. You can use this for any niche. Like, we put up, um, the month of April, we put up 4,000 solar installer videos in California, Arizona, Hawaii, and New York. And 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 everyone, I'm sure you're like, how can you put 4,000 hangouts up? Because you have to hit start, and you know, I so I record my my video in um, PowerPoint, and then I stream it through this program called ManyCam. You can use the blaster too. So I mean, you know, either one's fine. And but you have to have a body there to hit like broadcast and stop broadcast. So right. what I did is that um, I knew that I, you know. I'm the type of person I can't like go small. Like I have to go big. Four thousand solar videos, big. You know, AC repair in Florida. I have a hundred sites ranking right now. Eighty of them are number one. The rest of them are on still page number or still page one. So I can't go small. But you can, you can. That's fine to start off. I would, you know. But but once you see it blow up, you're not going to want it. So I hired. Um, high school students of my, I have four kids, so I hire their friends, and this, they're here anyways, and I have computers in my house. So they come at the table in the evening, they work four hours the evening, and I pay them $5 an hour, which is crap, but it pays their cell phone, because they need to have a job to pay for their cell phone. So, you know, it's either that or like go babysit or go do yard work. Well, sit in an air conditioning house and click start broadcast and you can listen to your music and text you just have to make sure you are paying attention to my computer you know and so I have um, I have four kids that do it each each one of them does a certain part of the hangout like one will record it one will do the um, the editing of the hangout one will like make the title and the description and the other one will set up my GSA and then they'll send it to me to make sure that it's okay because I'm a perfectionist so if I have to like it has to come to me before it goes out and hit start but right. yeah I mean I I pay them five dollars a day or no I fi pay them five dollars <laughs> an hour is what I meant to say so they make five dollars a day uh oh <laughs> no five dollars an hour for four hours so they make each twenty dollars a day, but nice. my, you know, if you have a hundred AC sites, I, I get on a daily basis like thirty to forty phone calls for AC at forty dollars a lead call. Wow. Like, you can really rev it up, you know. <clears throat> yeah, and and we, actually, when we we did a uh, a webinar the other day, we talked about some of this stuff because I I just released a product on ranking videos and. Uh, although the videos in this case study weren't hangouts, they were traditional videos, but yeah. same type of thing. We, we did a, I did 10 cities near me and ranked the videos to the top of page one in all 10 cities. And uh, I got a lawyer that called me the other day, wants to buy all of them and wants to do more for more cities. Yeah. So it's a very, very quick and easy way to be able to, uh, to start getting some income coming in fast. Yeah. And you know you can take pre, you can take YouTube videos that are already on there. Um, in my advanced class, I I give you two websites that you can actually um, take pre videos that are already on YouTube, and I close a ton, I can close ten of them at least a day on my sales team. And I mean that's like five thousand extra bucks every day if I wanted to. Nice. You know I mean. Yeah, you can do it on any kind of like videos, like hangouts, like um, 
buy them well, all. And, and the thing is, and, and people don't realize this a lot of time, but in Hangouts themselves, you can tell it to play an actual video. Yeah, yeah. So it's not it doesn't have to be that talking head or the PowerPoint live even. You can actually tell the Hangout to play an, a third video for the yeah, Hangout. Yeah, you just, like if you open up ManyCam on my screen. <laughs> See this nice stupid video. And you just click on add and then um, you have to tell the hangout to um, pull the information from Minicam and then you just hit play. It's nice. really, you know, I say it's a three and a half an hour webinar because I literally, you watch me do the whole process step by step. Um, and, and I tell you why I do these things. I don't just like to say this is how you do it and then I go do it. I tell you why I do it and why it makes sense to do it. So it's it's very, very in-depth. <laughs> it's, it's, it takes me eight minutes to make a video. Nice. And of course, you know, for, for everybody out there who just bought uh, who just bought Video Maker FX, you know, you could start right there. Yeah, making and some I of those it. and use those in there. Yeah. Yeah, I bought it and I'm gonna do that. Because and, and they look great pretty program professional. For it. Yeah. Yep. Very nice stuff. And and for those, you know, another thing too is, I mean, uh, let's not forget things like uh, one one thing that we've done in the past is is gone to uh, Video Hive and found some templates in there and made videos very quickly. So all you have to do is just change the video up per city a little bit, and then you know run it through the Hangout, and there you go. You've you've got everything you need. Yep. I bought about two hundred. Um, templates on um, Video Hive, you know, like <laughs> that I can use for plumbers and stuff like that. Right. And yep. you know, it works fine. You can run them through the Hangouts. They look professional. I mean, this the AC repair one is just a thirty-second clip of me sure. talking, and it took me fifteen retakes because I was laughing because I was like, "This is just so <laughs> plain." And I, I just come up with the information that I go to YouTube and I listen to what they say, and I just take out five lines from them, and then I just made the video. I mean, ah, I do it as good. lazy as I can possibly. I don't like trying to think too much. You know, if I overthink it, that's the problem is so many people are overthinking the process. I don't, um, you know, you can, I mean, it's Levi Matheson. I don't even put AC repair in Miami, Florida. I don't, I don't like, in the video itself, I have right. five sentences. I don't actually have any, um, I don't think I have any hashtags, and I might have maybe six tags, regular tags in there. So. Well, the you know. I was going to say, that the thing is, and this is the dirty little secret of a lot of this, is, you know, I mean, pr most of the time what we found in our studies is people don't even watch the video. Yeah, they you don't. Just, you're on page one with a thumbnail, so you get attention. They see the phone number. They dial the phone number. You know, so, I mean, you've got people caught right there even before they watch the video, which is, right. which is really exciting. Right, and see, it if you can um, take over the first page, you can put, like, more than, you know, you can put a video, you can put a web 2.0 property, you can put a hang, or I'm sorry, you can put a press release, you can put a question and answer, um, you can, you know, if you can get a forum link to get up there with your link in it, you can use something like that. So, I mean, you know, you can use a Facebook page, you can use Twitter, you can use a pin interest, right. you know. You can take over the first page and whatever they're going to click on is going to go to you. Absolutely. That's what we love to do. We like that yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And you can use the same um, the same training in it. The only thing you can't, the, the websites, if you want to rank websites, it's the advanced training because it's, you can't do it on a website because I'll tell you, GSA will kill your website. <laughs> right. Absolutely. No. Yeah. We... <laughs> so there's, there's two different trainings that way, but yeah. And, and, you know, just to show you how powerful this kind of stuff can be, we actually have had threats from from lawyers uh, mm -hmm. threatening to to complain to the bar because we've ranked videos <laughs> and they're like they're, you're not lawyers you can't do that and they, they've tried to threaten us to take things down and and you know oh we're gonna report you to the bar and all this other stuff of course which is nonsense because we're not giving legal advice but uh, yeah you know, I had one like that it. I had one like that recently I had a I was ranking um, for Las Vegas for our plans repair and the guy said that he wanted a lead so we said okay let's rank it we ranked it to number two in like I don't know it was ten it was maybe ten days and he ranked for maybe a hundred terms and it was for a plans repair which is you know 
I thought it might be a little bit harder, but it wasn't. And they came back then and they said, well, we don't want to, we don't want the video. And I'm like, okay, well, we'll just send it to your comp competition. And then he's like, well, then he got his lawyer and he's like, you can't threaten us like that. I'm like, it's not a threat. You are either going to pay or you're not. It's going to your competition. It's an easy <laughs> choice, guys. But I ended up having to take it down because I used a part of their, um, maybe like a branded of their um, website. So now when I make the video, I have to make it very generic. Like I won't say um, 24-hour air service because there's a website named 24-hour air service. I have to say 24-hour emergency AC repair Miami, Florida or right. something like that. So that was kind of learned the hard way. And actually, when I came out with this course, <clears throat> and uh, let me say I have bought a lot of W. Uh, WSOs. I've bought a lot of courses, okay? I have gone through, I went four years, I didn't make a penny in the very beginning. So I have done all of the courses that you guys have probably done. And I have sold, you know, I've sold quite a few, you know, seats to this. And every single one of them has said they have never been in a course that has been over the shoulder this much that I actually will log into your VPS if you cannot get it to work for you. And it, it tells you everything you need to know. You have no questions. Like, you are you have been in some courses. They give you a roundabout way, but they don't tell you what actually to do and why to do it. And that's right. why this course is so good is because it goes over all that. And I did that because I would get aggravated because I'm like, I know this, this course that you're giving me works, but you're not telling me why it works and why you're doing what you're doing. So when I came up with a course, and, and had my arm twisted from Anthony and Robert about it, you know, I was like, if I'm going to make it, I'm going to have to do it so that you guys can understand it and understand why I did it because it's so out of the box from what you guys have been taught, from what gurus tell you. So a lot of people are like, oh, she dropped so many links, we're not supposed to do that. But you think that because that, that's what these courses have told you. You haven't tried it. If you just try it, I'm telling you, it's going to work. Well, and, and you know, on that note, I actually have, for the most part, <clears throat> up until now that I'm doing some testing again, now that, you know, because I, I wasn't into, like, the whole GSA thing and, and all that, mm -hmm. because with all the changes that happened recently when we started to see people losing ranking with videos, yeah. I, I started to go in a different direction and stopped using links like that other than, uh, except, <clears throat> excuse me, except for social backlinks, but you know, now I'm actually starting to test with some of that stuff again uh, just to see what happens. But we were ranking without them, but certainly you know, if you can get good links and you can get them properly without uh, killing yourself with it, then it, it, it's yeah. definitely an effective way to go. Yeah, I know that recently some people put a a, a course out, um, and his videos ranked, which was good, but they also tanked. And I and I had a discussion. And I said, Do you know why they tanked? I'll tell you why they tanked. Because you did not keep GSA on. You ha right. you cannot turn it off. You cannot have links like that and turn it off. You have to keep it scheduled in. And, and, Absolutely. Okay, and I have thirty four VPSs. It's a lot. I have a lot of sites and a lot of YouTube videos to do. So that is time consuming. That this is what I do. This is my love. This is my passion is SEO. But you don't sure. do that when you first start off. You can have one VPS and you can put fifty projects in your GSA to start and you're gonna be fine. Once you start selling it, then you then what I do is like once I sell a property and it goes to them. You know, I'll do a seven hundred dollar setup fee, and then I'll say if you don't rank within um, a month, then you don't pay for that month. So I have to rank you within a month. So I have the seven hundred that pays for my VPS, that pays for my GSA, that pays for my Capture Breaker, and it pays for like my proxies or Spam Villa. So I might have used that seven hundred dollars like that, but then it's only one month that I have to rank it. So after that, I don't actually have to buy all those stuff again. It's the recurring right. cost is just my proxies and spam villa. So that's how I get around with not having to pay it out of my pocket is I charge my client a big setup fee, and then I'll rank them. Nice. Well, that, that that's interesting to note. And <clears throat> you know the other the other thing that I would that I would say is 
you, you know, for those that are confused by the whole link thing, the, the issue before was, of course, what worked before for videos was go to Fiverr and buy 10,000 backlinks, and, you know, by Tuesday they had 10,000 backlinks, and by Wednesday you had zero. And, but it worked. Unfortunately, that's not going to work anymore. So it is. It's all about the velocity. It's all about keeping things going, you know. Uh, and and you mentioned quite a large number. You know, wh is that kind of the magic number for you? That I think you said five hundred thousand. Um, it's not like well, I mean, it's not the magic number. I mean, I I like to have like within seven days. That's my that's my submitted my verified. I would like to have. 50,000 verified in wow. seven days. And I, you know, I go up to a refs and I look at the um, backlinks that have come in. Actually, we can like giggle and, and see how many this one has. But like I have had sites that have, you know, 400,000 backlinks. <laughs> and they're actually in index backlinks. This one only has 5.7. Oh, but you is can that see all? over here. <laughs> Yeah, but you can see over here that you can tell when I started, and then it popped up, and it's gone down for referring. But there's still domains, or there's still links coming in. Oh, and I cool. usually like this nofollow link to be really, really. I mean, if I want to rank it, I want it to be like twenty-two thousand, and my nofollow will be like four thousand, because you know, I mean, nofollows do help. Don't get me wrong, but I want, I want two follows definitely. But I want to make it at least a little bit. Um, like if Google came and looked at it, they wouldn't be like, "Oh, look, she only has, you know, ten yeah. <laughs> percent of all do follows." That's, I mean, or no follows. That's not really realistic. Right. No, yeah. Obviously, they uh, they know, you know, they can see the trends and they can see the games and all that kind of stuff. If it's not, uh, you know, natural looking, but so. Now, with those high numbers, uh, do you still think it's much more about the velocity than the actual number? Um, I think it's, you know, like, I think it pops in because I, in some sense, I'm making it look like it's gone viral because it's got so many links to it. And I, and I, I you know what I mean? Because it has so many comments and trackbacks and socials and wikis. Right. I think it makes Google think it has gone viral. So that's why I like to drop so many links at one time, and then I nice. will throttle it back. Once it starts to dance, then I'll throttle it back and stop it, and in three days, I'll start it back up. So I think it's just ranking because I drop so much at one time, it just makes it look really viral, and it's a video, and it's a hangout. Nice. Well, that's cool. I, I, I Like I said, I, I love this kind of stuff, and... and uh, you know, I've actually started to go back to doing this much more than I have over the last six months or so, just because I've seen, you know, it, a lot of people have said, I, I see this all the time, we've got uh, Facebook groups with video marketers and things like that, that that we have, and we hear all the time, oh, it's getting harder and harder to rank videos, and I always kind of chuckle at that because I've found that it's actually easier in a lot of ways right now than it was before, and I don't mm -hmm. know if it's possibly because a lot of people have said, oh, the fun is over and backed off or, mm -hmm. or what, but, you know, it just seems that it's actually been easier these days to really get that going than it was uh, even a couple, you know, a year ago. Well, I think what they're also doing is they're targeting one or two or three or five keywords. I target 800 keywords, and I have to target 800 <laughs> keywords because I drop so many links. My percentage has to be very low for my keywords. Right. So that's why it pulls in 500. I mean, I don't really have a choice. When someone, when they go sell my service or someone wants to buy a service from me, I say, you know, that's fine that you have five keywords, but I'm going to rank you for 800, and I don't have a choice about it. I'm not going to charge you extra because I have to have that many keywords when I do the kind of linking that I do. You know, and, and that, brings up a, that brings up a great question. Uh, when you're talking about this, now you said, you know, and we saw in that list that at the beginning of the, of the webinar, we saw that you were ranked one, 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 one for all these mm -hmm. different keywords, and I noticed right away that that was all just one video. Mm -hmm. That was getting all those number one rankings. So my question to you is, you know, uh, in a in a strict ranking uh, hierarchy, the title is always the king, you know, at least with videos. So in other words, AC Repair Miami, Florida, which is the main part of your title, is probably going to be the first thing that's going to rank whether you do backlinks or not. 
just because that's what's in the title, that's what they're going to jump on right away. Uh, and, you know, and as long as you're doing everything correctly, you should rank for that pretty easily. So, are you saying that the other th words that you're ranking for are solely based off of just the the anchor text? Yeah, because um, wow. you know, you can only put like I don't even know how many tags you can put in. I think somebody said maybe like 25, 15. I don't even know because I don't, I don't mind the time or I don't. I don't do anything with my YouTube channel. I use a random name, and that's all I do. I don't like make it all like, you know, on site SEO or whatever. I don't. Sure. I don't even know how to do it. So I don't. I don't do it. <laughs> it ranks because of the anchor links and because of links. It does not that's rank really because of a term. That's really really <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I mean, some people are like, you need to. It's going to come in more faster if. I named my channel AC Repair Miami, Florida, and I don't believe that because I've had enough proof and I've had done enough of my own case studies to say it does not matter what that says. No, and, and, and I agree. We actually did a case study that, that does show that it does give you a boost, mm -hmm. but, you know, what, what does a boost matter if you're, you're dominating? You know, it's, it's very minimal. Yeah. Um, like a because boost to me would be second page. Ooh, it's second page. I can get to second page in three days. Who cares? Well, and, and w w what we did for the case study was we took the same video and put it on three channels, one that was optimized, one that wasn't optimized, and one that was newer but kind of optimized. <coughs> and they came in, in they came in ranked one, two, three based off of the channel. So the best channel was number one, the second best channel was number two, and the worst channel was number three. But mm -hmm. we were number one, two, and three, so clearly you can get right to the top regardless of that channel. But you know, it, it does give you a very minor boost, assuming that you happen to be going against everybody who's doing everything else correctly, which, as we all know, nobody else is. So right, yeah. I mean, this is another another case study I did um, in December. He he made it in November. Um, <clears throat> and it's B2B marketing strategies is number two. That video came in, in, and I'm not kidding, it came in two days, and that is a super moderately, that's a heavy keyword to bring in. Right. And it used to rank for this, but I don't think it does now. <laughs> yeah, it's popped out for that one. But yeah, and actually, I, and I, I turned off the linking on this, this um, that video, you know, oh god, I probably turned it off at least three, three or four months ago, and it's still ranking number two for the main keyword. And I think I only did ranking. I think I only did links. I did um, three hundred thousand links overnight to that video, and I only had five keyword terms, and it popped in two days. So you can do it, and it's it's it was November, so which means it went through that YouTube. Um, Allegor update that everyone was saying you can't do links for. See, you can because purge. that's ranking and AC repair is ranking. So, right. and I have other videos ranking, not ones that I can show because they're client ones. But I mean, that's and, two and, videos, you know. You know, and, and just for the record, while we were talking about this, it, it brought something up to me and I went and I looked up uh, a couple of videos that we did as a test two years ago and ranked page one two years ago for. and those are still on page one for big cities and and whatnot and we haven't touched or I haven't even looked at them in at least a year and so it's been through all those updates and it's still right there on page one for a major city yeah um, somebody asked do you use a new channel for each product or client no well let me I don't want to say no I have 3,000 <laughs> YouTube video or sorry 3,000 YouTube um, accounts so I kind of like mix it up. Like my solar ones, I have for each state. Like Hawaii has 25 videos on um, each city is is on the the Hawaii channel. But then like my AC repair ones, I have them mixed up with some landscaping ones. So I kind of mix it up. Right. Yeah, and and we kind of do the same thing. Like I've got in in my state, I've got a a uh, Utah business site and inside there I've got it broken into categories with uh, dentists and, and lawyers and you know things like that as well so that that one has a lot of videos on it but they're all related to the local area. So you have like a separate, you have a cha one channel but you have separate usernames in each channel? Uh, no, well in this case for this one we did it different it's actually just one channel and then 
we've got we've got it broke. Like if you go to the channel itself, you can see the sections, which are oh, little okay. film strips. Yeah. So we just did them all that. So we just got a you know a playlist and and sections for doctors, playlist and sections for chiropractors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know that's worked well. But at the same time, we've also done the exact opposite, which is you know uh, oh we're going to target a very specific industry, for instance, bankruptcy lawyers. And so we've got you know bankruptcy lawyers for that city and all those you know and that's all that's on that channel. And we've we've had success with both. I I don't see a, a major difference between the two to be honest. Yeah, I I have you know people have asked me can I rank like channels like that and playlists, and I'm telling you I'm so dumb about YouTube. I don't know how to make a a um, playlist, and I wasn't a a bit I'm not a big video person. Like I don't go on my kids watch YouTube, so that's kind of like mm -hmm. if I want to have if I want to make like a playlist, I'd have to ask them. I mean I know you can rank Hangouts, so I don't see why you cannot rank the playlist, but I've never you, tried You it. absolutely can. In fact, it, you would basically be doing, once you created a playlist, you'd be doing the exact same thing you're doing now, uh, except the link would be a playlist link instead of a, a YouTube URL link, and then it'll rank just like a video. Yeah, so I'm guessing you would just rank it for the same um, anchor terms. Yep, but, well, and, and the thing is, though, you know, if you're ranking really well with your video, you know, it's almost like, what's the point, really? Um, because you're you're already you're already dominating with that. A lot of people do the playlist thing because it helps to boost the video a little bit. But once mm -hmm. you're dominating, you know, there's really not even that much of a point at that at that point in time. Right. Like I, you know, I said, well, you might be able to, but why would I want to change my strategy if I can get one video to rank for 500 terms? Right. So the only other strategy as I do is I also will rank several hundred. Um, videos for one term like if I want to totally take over the market I'll do like um that that DUI attorney uh, in Arizona that that phone number I did not I let it go through Twilo because originally when I bought it it was connected to um, a cell phone company so I was like well I'm gonna remove it so when I made that video I made it in the training and so I just pulled out the 888 number and then once it started ranking, I was like, crap, that number I don't even own. So somebody's getting all these attorney phone calls, and it's not me. But once, you know, it comes into Google, I'll have to re, uh, I'll have to take it out or put a big, like, black box across the phone number or something like that. But, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do stupid stuff like that because, uh, because I'm testing it. Like, that AC repair site, who we had it forwarded to this guy for, I don't know, probably three, well, Probably the good three weeks before we were like, well, maybe we should actually try to make money on this, you know, because it was a site, you know, it was a, it was a test, and actually, what I did was I took a picture of who, you know, I took a screenshot of who we bumped off, and then once the video popped into number one, I called the company who we bought, bought bumped off, and I said, you know, we bumped you off, you know, would you have any interest in these leads? And they said, sure. So we rented it to the guy we bumped off. Well, nice. we listened to the phone calls. And in one of the phone calls, a guy called and it was asking how to get leads from this company because he wanted to get leads from the AC repair. <laughs> so then we called him and we're like, well, we'll do these areas for you and you can have those, those calls, but leave Miami alone. Yeah, so I mean, I got business in coming out my butt from that dumb video, and it's a dumb video because it's thirty seconds of me talking. Sure, and l let me ask you this because you know it, what I find interesting is is you talk about how you're selling the leads, um, which uh, I've actually avoided because to me I always thought, oh gosh, selling each lead that's too much like work. Um, right. So, <laughs> so my my goal with that has always been to to rent the uh, video as a billboard and just you know let them have all the leads directly from it so in other words I got a video I've got a tracking phone number and you pay me X a month and that phone number is forwarded to you and I don't even want to hear about it or touch it just pay the monthly bill you know um, so could, right. could you I'd explain like the, to do the, that. what's yeah. that I would like to rent it monthly it, mm -hmm. that would be a lot easier than doing leads <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was hoping you'd say no, no. It's much easier to do leads and it's more lucrative. But <laughs> um, I have a sales team 
um, that I just have come across from doing this. And I, I make the videos and I rank the videos and I get on Skype and I say I want this much per lead call because we look at the PPC. And, um, <clears throat> and I hand it over to him. And if it comes back to me that he can't, like, rent it out or something, then we'll do a monthly. But, you know, stuff like roofing, you know, they're making 10000 per call. Well, right. if they close it. And for, like, the AC repair guy, he got a $25,000 um, contract with a, a mall, and I only made $45 on that call. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel kind of chipped out on that. So yeah, well, you know, way, I... You know, I've often told the story about uh, we were getting a monthly fee from a company and they made a, a half million dollar sale off of a video. That's so uh, I feel the pain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we go by Home Advisor and we go by, um, you know, we'll call and we'll ask how, how much they pay a lead. That's, that's really the easiest way to do it. But I would, I would like their mold. We do mold. Um, we do mold, nice. and right now we're doing some in Pensacola because of all the flooding, so we're putting sites up there, try to get it ready in about a month. And, you know, I would like to, to do about 500 a, a lead call for those. I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to. I don't know how much the mold is wow. for fixing. But, yeah, I mean, if I can blanket it, they can either buy the channel. <clears throat> I know another, um, another Hangout guy who... who mm -hmm. um, was that a guest speaker? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Roly actually, he rents them out monthly. I know he rents them monthly, and I know he does. Um, he does lead gen, and you know, per call like that I do too. He does it both ways. I think he likes monthly better. It's you. You just don't have to deal with it, cause mm -hmm. cause the way it is now, I have to go in and grab all the phone calls and put them in Dropbox, send right. the client the Dropbox, so he can actually go in and listen to the phone calls. And and who did you say you were using for the the phone calls? I use Twilo. Hmm. For the nice. phone numbers? Yeah, yep. I use Twilo and then I use um it's called WordPress <laughs> WordPress Tracker or something like that. I wanted oh, cool. like to get ACT but I haven't yet. Um because you know, I try to do this most simplest easiest thing that I can right. possibly find and this took me 2 minutes to set up. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. See that that's that's why I, I rent monthly instead, and I don't have to deal with any of that. <laughs> yeah, I can I can get why you would do monthly. I think for attorneys, I would I would try to rent. See, I don't know if I would want to because they don't want you to record the call, so you can't really do that for lead. Right. So you would have to do monthly or you'd have to sell the YouTube channel and then that could come across as some legal issue if you sold, you know, you kind of, I don't like doing attorneys. Yeah, we, we dealt with that on, on, on Fridays as well. We talked a little bit about that because it is, it's, it's a very uh, touchy subject because it, in most states you can, you can sell leads but you can't sell per a retained client and, you know, there's just a lot of weird little things, you know, you can sell per phone call, so they've got 70 phone calls, but you mm -hmm. can't do, well, they retain 30, so you can't do, you can't be paid per 30, you have to be paid per the phone call and things like that, and, you know, I, yeah. I, I think the selling the YouTube channel, I think that would work pretty easily, but, uh, yeah, you know. like for roofing, we do per closed roof, we don't do per call, because my call, right. you know, if, if, if you've ever been in the store for a roof, you call around, and right. you try to find the cheapest one. So if you call around in my area that I own, I'm going to get a lot of calls, but my lead call for roofs are not that much. But if I can get them to do per per close call, then then I'm going to make a lot more. Nice. And, and you know, and I love I love 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 landscaping. Landscaping for hangouts. It's probably one of the easiest for me to do. I can rank them in, in hours. So what we do is, you know, we I like to target seasonals, and um, I don't I don't have a husband, and so I have to think of things that I need. So if I need something around my house, I'll call them out. Landscaping is one of them. So that's why I like landscaping. So I live in Wisconsin. So during the winter, obviously we have like, you know, 
20 feet of snow. So my landscaping also will pick up my snow removal. Right. So Absolutely. it is seasonal, but I also can hit them on both sides. And then they'll pick up like Christmas lights. They'll, um, they'll hang Christmas lights in the ritzy areas of Florida and California and Colorado. So then sure. I can pick up just that very, it's a small window and it's super niche and no one else is in these areas. And so that's, you know, you know, another one that we've found that was really good for that is, uh, is tree removal. Oh because yeah. Those guys, same thing. They'll come and shovel snow in the winter. They'll do trees during the you know the the green months, and then also because they've got this equipment, I've gotten some guys where they go out now and they do the changing the light bulbs in parking lots where nobody can reach them with their giant trucks, and so they're doing all sorts of different things to to kind of uh, you know maximize their equipment and things. They also sell firewood, so just a, a lot of different keywords yeah. you can target for these guys. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I try to think of like I can't reach my light bulbs in my house, and I probably don't know how to change them anyways. And I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna call someone to come fix them. So he comes out once a month, and he changes all my light bulbs. And this is nice. it's nice, and and I give him, you know, I made a lead thing for him, so you know, he takes it out of there for each month of what he has to do around the house for me. So very cool, very that, cool. That's kind of come how I come up with a lot of my niches, and it's super targeted because I know what I need to have done. Now let me let me ask you this because you know obviously the the the, the thing that excites me with this is how many keywords you're targeting with one video because I'll be honest with you I've always told people no no you you know go after the one main keyword with your video and yeah you'll rank for some other things but you really want to go after that one so this is exciting to me this is something you know that I've never really seen which is just hitting for so many different keywords with one video so what makes me wonder is now if you're in a let's say you you know you mentioned Miami uh, was one of the cities you're doing with a lot of this stuff and and I don't know Florida all that well but let's assume there's you know 10 much smaller cities around Miami um, will you will you use some of those other smaller cities as the uh, anchor text and kind of dominate those areas as well no um let me see if I have one. Like, this is GSA. So if you click edit, you can see, I'll take these keywords out. So these would be all my keywords for AC repair. So the only thing is I do is I just take the um, city out, and then I put the new city in. And so right. I would make a video for each, <clears throat> for each city. So okay. I would have, I have 100 AC, re AC repair in Florida. So each one targets um, the metro area, more or less. I'm thinking I see a new a new software to be made, which is the uh, the keyword city adder. <laughs> yeah, I have a program that that um, gives you all of the zip codes in every U.S. or I'm sorry, it gives you every city and every zip code in the United States. So if I'm targeting, like I was doing my Florida, so then I just put in Florida and I'll put it every city in Florida and then I just made a file so I know which ones I want to go after. Nice. Well, that's Yeah, cool. and, and I, I would do a, a video for each. City. And even, even if the city's a little bit smaller, you'll still just do a video specific to that city or just not bother yeah. with a bigger city? Yeah, I would still do a city. Um, I, I still do a video just to that city. Is, like because we live in Janesville, and I would do one for, um, like LBN Milton, for each city because if they look at Milton, my video probably my Milton video and my Janesville video is probably going to pop in as number one and number two. Right, and that's what we've found a lot of times too is you know we've targeted a bigger city and then you know go to search a smaller city and all of our bigger city videos are dominating page one in the smaller city anyway, but uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, you you can just make a a generic video for AC repair and target for all the cities, but if I'm, I think that if I'm going after a hundred cities, I really need to have it as one video sure. per city, or it's going to be harder to pull it all in. And I want them all pulled in within a month, or I get cranky about it. So if it doesn't get pulled in a month. I I get aggravated. Yeah, actually, it's like seven days, but yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, that's exciting. Like I said, I I've always you know told people to target one, so to be to see how many you're able to do with one video. I mean that that's just amazing to me. 
Yeah, and I think that's why the course is, has done so good is because they're just like, I can't believe you ranked all these terms for for one video. It's unheard of. And and <laughs> how many links I dropped was just crazy. Like when I when I met when I met Tony, he was like he's like, No, 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 you can't do that and I was like, No, you can do it. Look at let me show you these examples and I and I actually showed him the CPA and he was he was like totally dumbfounded. Like it was funny. He's like, I, I don't even know what to say about it. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. You don't know what to say because you've been told not to do this. Right. And and well and, and with the way that we were doing this stuff before, we've seen that it, it you know, it has issues, you know. Uh, with the way we were doing it, but the way you're doing it, clearly those issues do not exist, at least not for, for videos, uh, which is really, that, that's, that's very exciting to see. Yeah, I mean, it will exist if you turn off your links, because you're going to have that link loss, and, 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 right. and my feeling is that everyone says, you know, my, oh, my video dropped because of Google Panda or Google Penguin updated. Well, if you go in and look at your website, are you sure it's not because of link loss? Because it's really, right. It's really because link loss hurts so much. Like I have, I I used to rank for um, crossbow review, and I was ranking a PR zero site. It was a PA sixty five, and if if you know me, um, I don't, I don't, I I don't know if Tony, you know, told you a lot about me or not, but. I am a page authority person, and I teach page authority to an extent. Ah. And so I'm not a a page rank person, and because right. they only rank, they only were updated two times last year. So my um, my whole thing is I want to have page authority on everything and that I touch. So I think that is why it ranks so quickly, so fastly, is because APA updates once a month, and the second right. thing is that. It, it goes viral, which it means that the page authority is going to be very high. Like, um, in the last update, the Miami video was a, was a page authority of 75, which is equivalent to a PR7. Wow. So that's why I, I, in my feeling, that's why it's so high. I mean, I haven't bounced that off very many people because most people are like about page rank. Well, you're about page rank because that's what everyone taught you. You need to <laughs> come over to page authority. You know. And I think I think Google themselves have said that page rank is slowly going away. You yeah, know, I think just, they'll be away by 2016. So, which makes sense, you know. I mean, I understand why they did that, but you know, it's just a, kind of a passe thing now. They're they're much smarter yeah, than they used yeah. to be. So I don't think it's a, as necessary as it yeah. was. Yeah. Well, my PA60 website. My PA60 website was ranking, it was a PR0, it was, and, and I made it in a month. I slammed it with links. Uh, it was like 100,000, I don't know, it was maybe even 180,000 indexed in a month. And it was ranking number one for crossbow reviews and the general term of crossbows. And sure. AI sold that site for 10,000. And the second thing is that it ranked over Cabela's, and Cabela's is was a PR6 site, and it, wow. that for crossbows, anything with crossbows, it ranked number one for. Nice. So That's you great. can, it has dropped, since dropped because I sold it and I'm like, well, I'm not going to keep up on the links. That's your problem. But, I mean, yeah, he dropped because he didn't keep up on the links. Right. And, and that's what it's did. about. You know, and that's what we've talked about for a little while now is that, you know, it, it's about that velocity, you know, because it, like I said, we used to do, we used to teach, hey, go to Fiverr. You know, buy one of those five dollar ten thousand links, and and Monday you had zero links. Tuesday you got ten thousand, and Wednesday you had zero again. Yeah. And it still worked. Well, that doesn't yeah. work anymore. You know that you you have to if you're going to do ten thousand, you got to do ten thousand Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. Yeah, and then you got to back off to eight, and then you got to back off and do six. You know, you have to kind of you got to know when to back off and when to like slam it. Yeah. Sure. And then now let me ask you this, when it comes to that, now you're saying you back off and everything, do you ever back off to the point where you drop off to the point where it's just not running anymore or do you just keep it going year after year? For 10 years now, it's going to keep going. Um, I have turned off some of them. The, the um, AC repair was off this weekend and it dropped maybe like two to three spots on a couple of the wow, higher quickly, keywords. Huh? Yeah, it That's comes crazy. in quickly. So, I mean, but it wasn't like... 
it was like a term like um I think it was air conditioning repair. Let me see if what it was. It was air conditioning repair. Might have before. So it was number one. It, so it just dropped to number two, which is I don't really care. It's not that big of a right, deal. Yeah. <laughs> but as soon as I turn it back on, the next day it'll be number one. So that is incredible. Yeah. So if and and I, when I when I turn it back one, I mean like seventy submitted links a day is is how I would do it. So once it gets to page one, you know you really want to throttle it off and 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 back it out. So. Um, I restart my VPS, VPSs every day, and if you know one crashes, they all seem to crash. That's the whole problem with them, which is what happened this weekend. But um, and I was camping, so I didn't have time to you know restart them and get them going. Um, sure. But so I, I keep that you know I have I can have up to 400 projects in GSA because uh, this project will do 70 and then it'll be off for the day, and this project will do 70 and be off for the day. So I just keep it running. Very cool. I'm kind now, of scared to turn it off, so. <laughs> I don't blame you. And, well, and, and let me ask you, this, does, it, does it cost more to keep it going for you, or is it, you know? No, it's the same direct? price because I had the client pay for it in the initial. So right. I, I paid my, my yearly DPS, and then I paid for my proxies, and then, you know, it's like 20 bucks sure. for proxies. Wow, okay. Interesting to note. <laughs> yeah. So that's well. And then, see, I, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm blown away by this. I, I really am. Um, the fact that you can do that with so many keywords. Holy moly! So let, let's go back into this. You, you know, you've talked a little bit about the proxies and and the the networks and all that. Could you explain a little bit of of you know some of the the things you're actually doing with that, as far as you know what it is, and then. Uh, kind of like the, the costs that are involved. So for instance, you mentioned that it can cost a few hundred dollars. So this is not something you're just going to want to jump out there and, and do, you know, without a client, I would, right. I would assume, in, in most situations. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, I can't figure out how to turn it off. Oh my god, that was awful. I'm sorry about that. Did you guys hear that? Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So in my course, I actually give you a place to buy GSA and Capture Breaker at, I think it's a 15% discount, and I think it's actually maybe this website or similar. Nice. So, and, I, and I think it's actually on sale right now, too, from its normal it probably price. Is. So I see it at 99 um, I saw it as, too, and I know like a couple weeks ago, I think it was at 149 so I... I think it's dropped down a little bit. So if I click on that, that actually didn't give you the, the coupon. You'll have to go into um, if you if you buy the course. Um, I have it. I think it's fifteen percent off or something like that. Ten dollars off or something like that. So GSA itself with the coupon is uh, I believe it's eighty nine dollars. Capture nice. Breaker. You know it depends upon where you bought it. I have bought it for one hundred and forty seven, and I've also bought it for one hundred and seventeen. So. Definitely look for coupons before you buy it. So um, that's about what two hundred and twenty-five maybe for GSA and for Capture Breaker. You need to have proxies. Um, you can get twenty proxies. And actually, Solid SEO VPS sent me an email this morning, um, and they said that they are not going to be selling proxies anymore. They're coming up with something else. So. You would get them from buyproxies.org, maybe twenty of them, or maybe eighteen dollars. Yeah, and you have to have proxies the, because, yeah. Let me see. I was gonna say I know I know I've seen them I've seen them in different places anywhere from you know fifty cents to a dollar. Yeah, so twenty here, like three subnets, is twenty dollars a month. Yeah, you you can get them from there. Any proxy place is really fine, and you have to have proxies to post, um, because if you don't use proxies, they'll ban your your VPS or your home computer. That's never a good thing. So, definitely, <laughs> proxies are a must. Yeah. So you have GSA, G, um, Capture Breaker, proxies. So that total maybe is two fifty, and I suggest getting something like um, 
spam villa or like OCR reverse. Um, so capture breaker will break most captures, but it won't break re recaptures. So that's what spam villa is for, and um, something like o OCR. Um, gotcha. I get the fifty dollar package. You know, you got, I think they have like a twenty five dollar package. Um, and then I use a VPS, so those are your basic cost. I have other options in there, like I use RankWiz, um, and um, I, I usually have a coupon after a webinar and the Facebook page, so you'll get a 15% off your membership and then a coupon for the account stores. <laughs> it never fails. He barks. Never fails. He barks. Hey, that's all right. Yeah, so, you know, I try to really give you guys as many coupons and discounts that I possibly can find. And I, I have them throughout the weeks. You know, if you don't get them in this time, then I'll have it for the next one or, or you know, for the next month, Pavlou will give me a coupon or something like that for rank quiz. Um, you know, you can use FCS. Um, you use those programs for embeds for um, the Hangouts or for the YouTube videos. And then, um, I'm 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 lazy, so I use um, scraped content. I use Content Machine or like uh, RCW. Sure. You know something like that. And in fact, I've actually used the same article. Did not even spin it. Used the same article, and I blasted it out to 800 Web 2.0s. Um, and it didn't get duplicate content on uh, a penalty on that. That video ranked fine. Yeah, and, and I, I honestly, I've I've found that to be the same case as well. That you know, it, it hasn't caused me an issue. So. Yeah, and and I just and what I put in there is if I don't use RCW, then I I just put in what I actually said in the video, and I just put that in the description inside GSA, um, like down. Down here where it says like the description. That's where I would put what I actually say, like, welcome to AC Repair Miami, Florida. So I would just put that in there. I might spin it, and I might not spin it either way. Very cool. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a great program. It, it definitely, like I said, I, I, I had kind of stopped with the backlinks just because of some of those issues before, but now I've, I've begun testing with that again. And, uh, you know, that's probably something that I'm going to add into my program is, is okay, you know what, you can... <laughs> You can use something like GSA to do that, uh, yeah. and stay fairly safe if you do it properly. So, did you guys just hear that very loud thunder? We sure did. At least I did. I didn't know it was thunder, but Sorry. I can hear something there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically what the course goes over. No, I, I think that's that's wonderful. I'm I'm really excited by all this because, I, like I said, I've I've never seen that where you rank for so many with one video. That, you know, if nothing else, that is one of the biggest takeaways I've I've seen in any of these webinars in quite a while. So that's that's fantastic. That is amazing stuff. Um, I can show them what's actually in the course if you want me to. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. All right. So. Um, the basic course, um, you get a Facebook group with the basic and the advanced. Uh, the basic course, you get my GSA template, and it's a template for Hangouts, um, YouTube videos, oh, cool. question and answer, you know, pr um, press releases, stuff like that. You get a 100,000 um, verified list to import into GSA, so you already have a postable list. You get a footprint list. Um, I'll show that. Oops. Okay, so you get this very large keyword list, and you use this for like scraping in G Scraper or Scrapebox. It's you know my Russian list is a billion, my English list is 600 million, so you'll never not have a place to post to. And then you get a footprint platform list, and um, <clears throat> then you have the videos, and they're already all pre-recorded. You just can watch them. I have a Easy GSA setup. It sets it up in about seven minutes. Nice. Uh, I have an option screen, so it, it's in depth. Um, you can the whole three and a half web, the three and a half hour webinar was a little bit like 
shell shocked for some of the people, I think. So I, <laughs> I, I condensed it down. So if they got stuck on just this part is where most people are having questions, then I just did a mini video on that for them. Anyone who's used to going to uh, webinars that Tony's involved in is used to three and a half hours, so that's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some people asking for yeah, the links crazy. to buy as well. Ray, have you got your link? What was oh, that? Yeah, Repeat Ray, that? Put that in there. Have you got your link? Some people ask asking for the, for the link to go in the chat box to uh, purchase. I, I do. I, I don't have the option to send messages to everybody, though. I've only, can you, I can only send to other organizers, so I can paste that to you guys. Yeah, okay. You do that. We'll put it into the box. All right. Um, the advanced course then also has another Facebook group. Uh, it has my 260 list of niches that I give you guys a head start on, basically. What niches that I would like to rank for, or the ones that I am ranking for. Um, the sites, I give you two sites that you can go immediately to and find um, clients. One site has 13,000 clients. One site has, I think, um, I want to say maybe 50. It might be something like that, 50,000. And also a template advanced, and that is for, um, that's for GSA, and it goes over a website. So if you're wanting to rank websites or Amazon um, or our money site, anything you don't want to lose, basically, you would want right. to use that template. And then the webinars are already set up in uh, PBN. So the first webinar is a G advanced GSA, second one is a PBN. Uh, we had, um, I think I had a guest speaker for that one. I brought in Rolly for some of that one uh, and the question and answer. And in the regular one it also has, so the first one is three and a half hours. The second one is FCS and Rankwiz, which we had a guest speaker, Bill Walsh, because I didn't have a voice for that night. <laughs> um, and then we have a, a, um, a scrape box and a G scrape, scraper training and then a Q&A session and and then I showed you how I set up my rank was after I got my voice back <clears throat> and um, yeah and in the advanced course um, I'm doing a couple promotions in there I have a verified list um, Subscription is a hundred a hundred thousand a month, and it's offered to the advanced um, course buyers first. So that, you know, I, I don't in case I would sell out or something like that. At least the advanced people get it before the basic people do. <laughs> well, it's it like I said, this is exciting stuff. I I love getting into this whole you know just ranking videos and selling them off and and for you know years ago it was something I we, we were doing quite a bit and then I kinda got away from it with some of the other things we were doing but I've really jumped back into that now because I think the opportunity right now is actually bigger than it's ever been with this I mean people are actually paying attention to it again and it, I, I find it easier to do than it used to be uh, even you know just a few months ago and so this to me is huge, and the fact that you've got some of that cool stuff in there that I have not seen with all of those keywords, and that's just, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I think people are, are, are uh, did I lose my screen? Uh oh. I might have just had a power outage because of the storm. Can you, you can hear. Well, I, we can hear you, and, and I can see the uh, the normal easy Hangout niche uh, main page. You know, I'm trying to get it back. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think that we like lost power for a minute because it's uh, it's storming here. Um, what was I? Oh, I was saying that people are really, really eating up this course because they're like, I can't believe that a it works. You know, and I've asked people to post reviews because I think, I think that's important. Like. I'm very, you know, when I first started doing this, you know, Tony was like, everyone's eating this up, they love it and stuff, and I'm very unpolished, and I just tell you how it is, I tell you what works, and I don't really cushion it at all, and so I said, you know, in the group, please post your reviews, because, sure, it, because, you know, sometimes people don't believe you, and, and that's the whole <laughs> thing, is that, and I don't play that game. You know, I, I'm a, I'm a, this is what you get. It works. And if you don't believe me, go read the Facebook because 
I've had a lot of people post that it works. Uh, this well, one guy got 400 number ones in two days in the local. And wow. I was like, wow, yeah. And, and I can tell you the, the reason we had you on today is very, I, you know, like I said, I didn't, I didn't know who you were. And very specifically, the reason that I, I had you on was because I'd heard so many great things about what you were doing. You know, and, and how how much people actually loved this course and how successful it was. That I I said, heck yeah, we gotta jump on this right away. In fact, <laughs> in fact, I uh, Tony was like, yeah, yeah, you gotta do this. This is awesome. And then I I got busy with other things. And I'm like, oh crap, we gotta get this girl on. We gotta get her on now. Hurry. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, this is. You know, they're like. I, you know, I had a few friends who were like, you you. We don't want you to teach this. You know, how much can we pay you not to teach this? And I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. You know, people want to learn this stuff, and it's about time that someone puts a good product out and, that teaches them. You know. And that's the thing. There is so much out there. I mean, you go to any city and pick up the yellow pages, and even these days, the yellow pages is a thousand pages thick. I mean, there's so much in there that you could do. You know, there's no fear of like oversaturation in something like this because. Everybody's got a favorite niche. Everybody lives in a different area. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's crazy to to worry about that kind of a thing. This pie is so large we could never possibly even catch up to it all. You know. There's just not enough people that yeah, would I buy mean, a product like you this. You know. Right. Right. And I try to make it so easy so anyone can stop in and, and set their GS up. GSA up in five clicks in seven minutes, and you just have to replace your own information and hit start. So even if you're just practicing and you make one video, it still is going to work for you. As long as you follow what I tell you to do, and you don't make up your own kind of like law of, you know, <laughs> as long as you follow <laughs> it, you're going to do fine. Nice. Well, I, I like I said, I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen huge, especially lately in this particular niche in this particular field and I see it growing bigger so I'm I'm you know I'm excited to to kind of learn some of the things that you're doing to add those to my repertoire and and really take it to the next level with that because you know it sounds like you can really target a lot more in a shorter period of time than than I'm doing which is why I'm excited about that because it seems like I can just hit a lot more a lot quicker Whereas right oh, yeah. now, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm doing 10 here. And you know, <laughs> and I'm laughing because people say to me, holy cow, how did you get 30 videos up in, in, a, in a week? I'm like, oh, yeah, I can make 30 videos a week. And then I hear you, you know, oh, yeah, 300 videos. <laughs> right. Right. We did 4,000 in, um, I think it was two weeks, yeah. It was crazy two weeks. but Yeah, that's that's crazy, crazy stuff. So I'm, I'm excited to kind of see exactly what you're doing with that. Uh, you know, as much as with the the backlink things and 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 the uh, ranking for all those keywords, but just to see how you're making these videos so quickly and and efficiently, because that just blows me away as well. Yeah, you know, you just gotta remember, I do it, I do it the lazy, simple way, which I think you know some people are are, you know, you can make the nice videos, that's fine, they probably will convert better. But I I have a hundred a hundred AC. Uh, repair ones ranking and they're exactly the same um, general PowerPoint that I made and it gets between 30 to 40 calls and then you know on the weekends we we um, do like a time and a half so you have to charge me so we'll get charged 20 or 40 dollars plus another 20 for the weekend and then if it's a Sunday then it's a double so it's 80 dollars a call so sure. you know a lot of people don't do it that way but I'm like it's as a weekend, so we should because they're going to get paid time and a half or whatever. Nice. And and the other thing, you know, like we talked about, is a lot of times people don't even get as far as watching the video. They're calling that phone number yeah, right off the bat. Yeah. You know, especially yeah. when you get into twenty-four hour emergency plumbing. <laughs> you know, people aren't going to stop and watch a video while their basement's flooding. So getting that to the top of page one and being the first name there, that yeah. is just huge in an industry like that. Right. Like if you watch your keys out of the car, you're going to watch the little. Yeah. Um, five minutes. Oh, I don't, I don't like this guy's video. Let's look up a different locksmith. Right. Yeah. You just want to be number one. That and that's all you're really worried about. Yeah. Beautiful. And and of course, you know, uh, I do have uh, some bonus material that we're going to be doing with this as well. One of which is I've got some pre-made videos for different niches. Um, you know, like uh, real estate and and whatnot. 
that I'll give out to anybody uh, that purchases. So you'll actually have some videos ready to go. All you need to do is you know run them through uh, Hangouts or or even use them as is. You know either way, and uh, maybe just make some modified changes to put the phone number in there, and that's it. So I'll I'll get those to everybody that purchases as well. Nice. Yes. So we try to we try to be nice. We try to do some fun stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, that way they don't have to waste the two minutes to do my PowerPoint, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know and, and some people don't like, um, you know, like I think you said you do the talking heads. Do you do the talking heads? With, with clients that we've, that we've um, uh, you know, that we've retained for bigger packages, yeah, that's what we do is we'll actually go out and sh actually shoot them talking. But that's you know obviously that's not pre-ranked stuff. That's they're signing a big fat contract for yeah. SEO and and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I when I first started I was doing wedding planners, and um, you know when I first started doing hangouts I had people I posted the link and people could come watch it and it was just it, I don't like watching myself on camera yeah. and I don't like <laughs> listening. I don't I have a very like girly voice me so I don't like listening to myself so when I'm making these videos I'm always cracking up because I'm like oh my god this is just it sounds like this little girl is talking you know so <laughs> that would be good to have pre-made videos that you're that you're doing as a bonus because then you don't have to worry about doing the va the voice well and and the other cool thing is these already come with with the voiceover as well and you can choose the voiceover. There's like a British version and an American version and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's you've got, pretty uh, good deal. Options. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat stuff. In fact, the lawyer that I was talking about earlier, where we ranked all those lawyer videos, and that guy came along and bought them. That's what those were. It was just those videos. Just I I just modified them per city, and you know, it took me five minutes to make you know ten copies of that and ten copies of personal injury, etc. So it's very very fast. That, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Like, cause I definitely would get something like that because I don't like listening to myself. I don't like <laughs> seeing myself on camera. So if I, you know, I, I've had some um, some roofers who have asked me to do like a, on a question and answer type thing, and I'm like, we will, but you need to, you know, I, can you re, you know, record the video and just send it to me because you know what questions to ask. I don't know what questions to ask you right. or send me them. But I'm not going to be on camera. Yeah. You know. And with with like I said, with our bigger clients, you know, I, we've got one guy. That's all he does is figures out what questions to ask people. You know, and and then we go out to their location and they're the ones talking. So. Right. That's a good idea. But that's again. Yeah. That's for bigger clients that have retained us. You know. For yeah. Lots for of Lee Gen, things. you wouldn't have to do that. For Lee Gen, your videos are are probably going to convert quite well. Yeah. I sure. Can see that. Absolutely. Very cool. So, Tony, do we have any, any questions out there? Well, we got quite a few questions, but you're having such a good conversation, I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, let's go back to the <laughs> beginning. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Now, somebody was saying they thought that there, were, there had to be at least one attendee for a Hangout to work. Uh, I'm guessing he's talking about doing the pre-recorded videos. Do you want to address that one, Holly? Um. What is the question? Does yeah, they yeah. have to have two attendees? Yeah, yeah. I think what it means is when you're doing the pre-recorded oh. videos and publishing and then the, the editing and, and YouTube and stuff, he, he was under the impression that you had no. to have other attendees to, to do a Hangout. If you're doing a live Hangout. Well, I, like, I've, done, I've done live Hangouts with just, just with myself to make yeah. a Hangout without any attendees at it. Yeah, you can do that. You, you have yeah. to invite somebody. But you don't have to actually have anybody attend. Yeah. So they'll they'll be when you first put it in, they'll say, you know, who do you want to invite, and you just pick a list of, you know, your friends or whatever. And so people could show up, but they're not going to, you know. Right. So you yeah. can do it by yourself. Yeah. And the next question was from I think it's Marge or Margie. I don't know. Um, if we have web two sites, do you make separate for each niche, um, separate profiles, etc. For each each niche? No, I. I don't. Uh, I use random names. I buy them from um, the RankWiz account store, and so they <clears throat> they just send them to you, and they're naked. Um, they change the themes, and they're supposed to remove the default post. And then I just like I use it as a video embed. 
And so nice. I'll have pest control and AC repair and wedding planner all in the same one. I don't I'm just no, I don't do that. Very cool. Okay, uh, let me just see. I'm trying to pick the uh, better ones that have not already been answered. There's a lot of questions that I'm confusion about what GSA really is. Um, it's basically it's a backlinking software, and you pay a one. Yeah, if cost. you think of if you think of like Magic Submitter, everybody kind of knows that name. You know, it, it's different than Magic Submitter, but it's the same type of idea. You're creating a variety of different backlinks from different type parts of the web. So in other words, you're getting comment backlinks, you're getting wiki backlinks, you're getting all sorts of varieties of, of different backlinks to your your pro, to your videos or to your properties. Yeah, uh, Mark was asking, uh, do you also have success ranking just normal videos without using Hangouts on on air? Oh yeah, you can do the same. You use the same template. You can rank, you know, any any YouTube video. It might come in a little bit longer. Because the Hangouts, I think they're more powerful because you use the Google Plus space. Yeah. Right. And they tend to rank very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Mark T asking, how do you track all the URLs? Um, oh, yeah. I that's when I, if you want to pull, like, pull that up, because that's an exciting little piece of software you had up there earlier. Oh, actually, we can't see your screen, though, can we? <laughs> no, if you go to ProRankTracker.com. Yeah, that, ProRankTracker.com. Nice we've, we've, okay. we've, we've actually talked about a few different products similar to that for a while, Tube Tracker and, and uh, you know, some of the other ones. But that one looks, looks pretty good. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, because it, it, will, it will track your um, locals. And you can track it for uh, YouTube and, and uh, Google at the same time. Yeah, we we like that, and, and you know, because one of the one of the issues that we've we've found is a lot of times the ones that rank Google for you, they actually will only rank the videos in Google, not the actual page. You know, the actual uh, uh, ranking of it in the general web search. You know, so mm -hmm. say, oh, your video is number one. Well, then you find out it's actually on page three, but it's the number one video, which makes yeah. It to, uh, I like positiononly.com too. Nice. That's a good. I'll That's a pretty that good down. one. It's I've more expensive, it but it's pretty good. I've never heard of that one. I'll have to write that down. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a link to it actually. Just one sec. And um, Russell's asking how many computers does Holly have running? Um. <laughs> okay, so um, I like to buy electronics. Let me say that in the first part. So um. Upstairs, I have nine computers. Downstairs, I have, um, so I do Bitcoin. So I have six miners that are downstairs, and then I have one power. Um, that's like a gamer machine, but it's, it does altcoins. And then I have, I have four that are downstairs, but they don't always run because I blow that damn fuse all the time. So, <laughs> so they run upstairs as much as possible. Just for the record, I've got I've got two Macs running, and then I've got a, a little crappy little Windows PC that I use to run Windows only software. It's usually made awesome. by Tony Hayes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I need to get an office or something because it's so funny. If we clean the house and I have to plug in the vacuum, I'm always like, okay, wait, let me turn off this computer and see if we blow the fuse. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that's funny. What else you got for us, Tony? Uh, I'm just trying to filter through the ones that we have not already discussed. Um, there was a bit of confusion about Twilio. Twilio is the name of the um, telephone call system. And Russell... Yeah, you rent, you rent phone call or you rent numbers. Yeah. Russell chipped in and he gave the name of um, Chad Wyatt's uh, call tracker. From Chad White yep. was the and other that's one. That's a that's a really yeah. really good program. And really Steve good. Duncan said was uh, well impressed and bought it already. Nice. Yeah. And what is the cost of the advanced program? Um, the basic one is one ninety seven, and the advanced is one twenty seven. 
And after three days, it'll go up, both of them, by $100. Yeah. And, yeah, move quick. Yeah, yeah. And do you have a link for Manicam inside the member area or, or not? Or can, is it Manicam.com? Yeah, it's many, it's uh, okay. M A N Y Manicam. Yeah. 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 Manicam.com. Okay, so I'll just type yeah. that in there in a second. And, and, and. Um, Art is asking when you sell these systems, do you have to train the new owner or in link maintenance? I don't, you're, you're not really selling. I guess you must be talking about selling the YouTube channel. Yeah, if you're selling the YouTube, not really, because all you have to do is, as long as, I mean, okay, so you can do two options. So you can charge a monthly maintenance fee, which is probably the better option because you have a recurring, you can charge them 200 bucks a month or something like that to keep it on. Or, you know, you can, it's going to be cheaper for them to do it that way too. So you can, or you can say you get your VPS, you get your GSA, you get your capture breaker, <clears throat> you get your spam villa and you get your proxies and you can do like you can even set up a $500 setup fee and you import your same project into GSA and they hit start. It's not hard but they're going to be spending more than 200 for the initial cost. <laughs> yeah. So I would do, try to <clears throat> close them on the recurring. You, do, you, sell, you sell that guy his, his, uh, his channel for $30,000 and then Two months later, he's coming back to you to pay a monthly fee because he lost all his rank. Oh, yeah, he has already. Yeah, he has already because <laughs> he's like, you know, he pays me monthly to keep it in there. And, it, you know, it, God forbid if he loses it, he knows that my I have a $2,000 fee to put them all back up because we already talked about that. He said, what happens if he gets reported? Well, if you get reported, I'll put them back up. But now the channel is yours, so you'll be paying me 2000 to put it back up. <laughs> <laughs> See, the dog agrees. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ray Finney is asking, where do you get your YouTube accounts since you have so many, your Gmail YouTube accounts? Um, in the <laughs> Facebook group, there's a resource um, file, and I give you the link to where I buy them. That's awesome because uh, I, I'll tell you, I thought I had a lot of YouTube accounts until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Make, and I've only make, lost look like two an amateur accounts. with that. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I've only lost two accounts. The first one was lost because I went after a fellow marketer and put up a slimy video and he reported it, which is fine. And then um, <laughs> the second one was lost because I logged in on uh, my home IP and the guy who made it, um, it was not my regular person, made right. it on India. Uh, in yep. India, and so I lost that. So I stay with my, my same guy. I've always yeah. With. Be be very careful with that because I've I've done that too. Where I've bought you know like oh thirty, you know verified accounts on Fiverr for five bucks, and I think <laughs> I think every single one of them got uh, got pulled down within yeah. you know a month or so. Uh, yeah. Some of which I hadn't even used yet, and the first time I logged in, they'd already banned it. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I go with the same guy. I don't have problems with him. And Dennis is asking, Dennis is asking, with that many computers running, what type of internet service are you using? Uh, I recently upgraded to 100 up, and I think I'm at 6, no, I was wrong, 100 down and at 6 up. Nice. I have um, charter. So it's like I don't know. High yeah, we I've got I've got nothing here, uh, pretty much, and and we've got nothing but trouble. But <laughs> but we did get word the other day that 100 up is coming soon from a different company. So I'm really yeah. really excited because we're at seven up right now. Or excuse me, seven down. So 100 down will be coming soon, which is good. <laughs> yeah, if, if I got office, I'd have T1, and then it would probably would go faster. But my house internet does does fine because those computers don't always build links. They they have a time schedule when they go in and do it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we, we, we often make jokes about my internet connection <laughs> on, on our radio show and on the webinars, so. So, yeah, you're gonna like it when it's a hundred up and down. It's it's oh, I'm sure. Mad, it's mad fast. <laughs> I look I look forward to it quite a bit. 
Okay, All I think right, we've, basically, we've basically covered most of the questions. Um, most of them are just um, repeating themselves from, from earlier, but you had covered them in a lot of detail. So I think we can probably wrap it up now, unless somebody's got some last minute um, questions sure. they want to ask. And, and I'll ask one, uh, Holly, is there a, is there a place where uh, these guys can, can uh, get in touch with you if they do have any questions after we get off here? Yeah, um, can I put my Facebook in there? That's yeah. the easiest way to get a hold of me. I agree, um, me too. <laughs> I'm not very good about checking my emails, and especially when I'm camping, it's a lot better. So if you get a hold of me on Facebook, you're going to get more of a direct answer. I agree. Facebook and Skype have become uh, much bigger friends yeah. of mine. Than and if now. you buy the course anyways, you already have me on Facebook, so I don't have to hunt you down. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's cool. In fact, I, I don't even think I'm, I'm going to have to check that Facebook because I don't even think I've done that yet. <laughs> I checked this morning. We are Facebook friends. Are we? Okay, good. Yeah. Must have just happened recently. Yep, there we go. Oh, wait, no, it's telling me to add. So maybe huh. not. Maybe I'm Facebook friends with some random person. There we go. Could well be. Could well be. I know I've got <laughs> many random people, so. <laughs> So any, is that it on questions, Tony? Um, yeah, I've just uh, sort of reorganized the questions by when they were received. I was wondering why I keep seeing the, the window jumping, but I don't see the new question. Um, I think something got screwed up. So yeah, we've got a few questions. Um, Marge is saying, I don't have to change. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's a question before that. I think she's broke up the question maybe in three or four um, different. Yeah. Can I can I really make money with basic uh, video FX? And then she goes on to say, "Are you saying I can have um, same video and not change anything except for the tags and the title?" Um, I think people may be getting confused with um, ranking for multiple keywords with the one video, and that's really done with um, the sort of varied anchor tags. Or, or the multiple city deal. So in other words, yeah, because one of the things we've talked about is. You know, we've got a video that we made that, you know, we're ranking in 10 different cities. And and I, I do, I, you know, and Holly, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on that particular part of things. But I tend to modify them just a little bit. So in other words, like in the, the ones that I'm giving away with anyone who buys, you'll have, for instance, the, uh, the, the lawyer video. It comes with like five different versions of that where basically the colors are different, you know, things like that. And so you can kind of very quickly and easily change that but then I also add the tracking phone number into the video itself and so that makes mm -hmm. it different so that's the kind yeah. of stuff that I do to make it different I don't know about you yeah for each uh, location I actually I talk because I think that Google picks up um, the location when you're talking in the video and helps it rank so I'll say AC repair in Hollywood Florida and it'll rank faster for Hollywood Florida because I said Hollywood Florida and then on the actual image itself, I have a different phone number for each location, and then I have, um, if I have a website connected to it, then I'll put my website on it too. Um, so it's a different video for each location, yeah, right. basically. And, 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 you know, they're usually very minor differences. Not, you know, you're not creating a whole entire new video most of the time. You can just kind of yeah. change one or two little things and bang them out very, very quickly. Yeah, and I learned to record them instead of doing them live because um, if I do them live and I end, God forbid I end up losing that, I lose all those videos and I have to redo them. Right. So I I now record them. <laughs> or you or you screw up while doing it live and then you got to start all over. Right, <laughs> or I start laughing or the dog barks or something. Yeah. Got to go delete the one you made. <laughs> yeah, that's so aggravating. Right, right. <laughs> I used uh, to do a, a daily morning hangout, and I used to run into that problem all the time. <laughs> uh, Mark, just still a little, uh, little bit confused about the Web 2.0 sites when using um, different niches on the same account. So she's using a, an example of she has Tumblr and a bunch of Web 2 sites, and she's in the IM niche, pets, self-development, etc., etc. So she's a little bit confused about um, using the same content on all those different and all those uh, accounts. So are you segmenting your, your profiles or? Um, 
for like the web 2.0s I'm t you're talking yeah, about, right? Yeah, web 2.0. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, my feeling is that she's, she's confused because she's been taught you're supposed to have unique content. So if you're worried about having unique content, definitely go to some place like iWriter.com and have them write some um, some good articles. You can get them between like what 150 and 350 or something, and then you can spin them. And then in RankWiz, you can um, put you can put the article in there, and it'll go out to each Web 2.0 in a spun format. So. Um, but the Web 2.0s themselves, I don't do anything different with. The only thing, I mean, Rank was like makes them and I and has different themes on them, but uh, um, they don't have like images or anything like that. And I, I think part of the question might be something to do with, in other words, if you've got one Squidoo lens, uh, you know, are you putting your dog training and your your roofing and your yeah. dental all in the same yeah. one Squidoo yeah. lens? Yeah, I am. And and I am too, actually. So yeah, because I, I use I, I'm using it as a PBN. Right, and, and that's what I've done PBN, as well, so. and I haven't had any issues with that. And you know, if anybody ever questions, well, gee, why do you have a dog and 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 dentist and all that? It's like, well, because we're talking about a, an area. You know, we're talking about businesses. It's a business thing, not a dog thing or or whatever. So it kind of makes sense in, in that regard. And and I've never had an issue with the you know them coming back and going, wait a minute, why are you doing articles about dogs and articles about dentists? You know. So it's just never been an issue as far as that goes, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't have issues. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pat Pat Zima asking, how would you recommend promoting for clients that are in different cities for different events? Does it mean live events? I'm not sure. Do you mean uh, live events, Pat, or, or what? And Marge keeps asking the same question. Can I really make money with simple video FX software? I guess oh, those softwares, uh, you know are, what? those videos are actually quite good. It's, it's coming out, yeah? I, I can tell you, let me let me take that for one second. I know that's not what this, the focus on this one is, but hmm. I, I'll tell you this. Uh, I already have. When I, I, I got it as a beta about a week before it came out, yeah. and the, a day later I, I already made money off of it. So absolutely. And the reason I did is because I, I created a quick video for a client and said, here's the type of style we can do. And he said, absolutely, that's awesome. And he paid right away. So I, I've already started making money specifically with that program. So absolutely, you can. And you know, if you can make money with videos made from PowerPoint, you can definitely make money with mm -hmm. videos made from this because they're better, you know, at least yeah. for the most part they are. Uh, and Mike Waterfield asking, can you get the advanced course later after you purchase the initial course? You can. Uh, it's going to be $100 more, though. So if you have the extra money, you should do it now. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Um, Marge again is talking about the professional quality of videos. I think Video um, video Maker FX is fine. And Yep, absolutely. Better, it's better than 90% of what most people are making already. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting question. Um, M. Sully came in late. Where does Holly put all her keywords in description? Holly, you don't do optimization for on page, do you? No, I don't do any of it. I don't know how to, so. <laughs> Which, by the way, that, that to me is absolutely crazy that you're doing this well and not doing that. That yeah. blows my mind. <laughs> you know, in my websites that I rank, I can tell you that the meta tags probably they meta tags. <laughs> um, Jack, I, do it. I don't know how to. <laughs> Jack Track is asking: Is this recorded or live training? <laughs> uh, it's recorded training. Yeah, well, it's recorded, Jack, but don't tell anybody. Um, right. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Uh, okay, so also Pat is saying, for example, um, maybe in Lexington, um, Kentucky, for a two-week course, uh, for a two-week course show, and then later in Columbus for the same. So I think what he's saying is that he will be doing some marketing for these different horse shows in different cities. Um, I guess you can do that with the Hangouts. For horse shows? Yeah, he, 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 I think That's interesting. Yeah. So it's live events that are coming up. So I guess that's a great way to do it because you can just dominate yeah, that particular niche anyway for, that. for multiple yeah. keywords, Pat. 
um, not just about the live event, but you can actually get your, your links to the live events in there as well, um, where, yeah. where they can get details for other live events coming up if they missed that one, if they saw it a bit too late uh, or whatever. Um, so I think we pretty much can wrap it up right now. Um, somebody asking what is PDM, I think you mean the, the PBN, it's the private blog network, yeah. uh, Jerry. And Marge well, is saying how do you make a generic lens name then? I guess it's by the city if you're going by the, the example that Ray used then. Yeah, so like for a generic one you would just say, um, <clears throat> thank you for calling AC repair in Florida instead of saying in the location. Yeah, and one final question, um, is there an, an alternative to GSA? Uh, magic, magic submitter, but you're going to do a lot more work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, more probably. Work. And I, and I don't mean you know basically with with magic submitter every single time you do a new project you're going to be spending a lot of time doing that. Um, but honestly, you know, magic submitter is a lot more expensive too. You're you're paying sixty dollars every month for something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, this is to me so far. This is the best software that I've seen for doing this type of thing, and, and one of the cheapest too, which is kind of ironic. Yeah, they kind of follow um, the scrape box model, where they just charge a, a one-time low cost for that particular. But you get one computer install for for it. Hey, uh, Tony. Yeah. Uh, the tire, the tornado sirens are going off, so I am going to get offline. If you guys want to. Uh -oh. Talk still, that's fine, but uh, they're going off, so I am going to lose power. All right. Well, okay. thank okay. you for joining us, and stay safe. All right. Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. In the basement. Yikes.